Well, there it is. Hello there. Welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic Free HD. We're going to be playing on the Festival of Life. So this is the Armageddon's uh, Blade campaign, Festival of Life, the smaller one. Every 30 uh, years, the youth of Krulod are given the opportunity to replace the clan leaders and fight for the throne. Defeat the ancient behemoth Razorclaw. Clear an area of ancient beasts or beasts left wild for 30 years. Defeat the other rivals for the throne and finally challenge the king himself. So, Razorclaw is our mission. The task of killing Razorclaw has been given to you. Prove yourself and defeat the ancient behemoth in three months or lose your chances at becoming king. If Kilgore is lost, then his chance to become king ends also. Kilgore is limited to 12th level. So, hopefully we'll have a little bit more fun, or at least, you know, less sort of... Mm, better, better quality of life with Kilgore, because I'm going to try to make sure I get logistics. Then we've got a choice of five Cyclopses, one Behemoth, or four Rocks, and normal difficulty. I actually suggested this earlier, and people seem to suggest that five Cyclopses. Five versus one is quite a lot, actually. If it was like three Cyclopses and one Behemoth, I'd probably go with the Behemoth, but... I know he benefits the Behemoth, but... The Cyclopses does allow me to creep a lot of stuff, potentially, and not lose anything. Alongside my father, I have killed Behemoth before, but never an ancient Behemoth. To contest the throne... I must slay one of these fearsome beasts. I relish the encounter. After I have slain this one, I will know how to subdue them. Then I will employ them in my bloody ascension to kingship. So this is going to be maybe similar to the Dracon levels that I've just done recently, where you had to basically kill the dragons. I did enjoy that, but I found it hard to enjoy the gameplay aspect of it because my character was so damn slow and they kept removing dimension door and the quality of life aspects so with this character i really want to make sure i get logistics and so i can have a bit more fun because it does make a big difference to me some people might say you can still do really good at this game and maybe the professionals don't even use logistics at all for me personally i love to be able to move fast so it's a big plus for me so i really want to make sure this guy gets logistics if i can and maybe pathfinding as well. I don't know whether the future levels require pathfinding on this one, but perhaps it might be worth it. The first test begins. Razorclaw has been terrorizing this territory for generations. His reign is about to come to an end. It will be a challenge just reaching him before time runs out, and you are limited, uh, and you are eliminated from the festival of life. But you are confident of victory over the beast. So here we're playing as Kilgore, a level one barbarian, four attack, one in power, and one in knowledge. Now he's got a benefit to Behemoths. Behemoths or Ancient Behemoths receive a plus 5 attack, plus 5 defense, plus 10 damage. So pretty, pretty amazing. I really actually quite like the Behemoths now since I've come back to this game. When I first used to play this game, like we're talking like 20 years ago, whatever it was, I think I used to think the Barbarians are quite weak and stuff like that, but I think I was misguided. So we have Advanced Offense. So that's good. We've got a whole clean slate here. So let's say Earth Magic, Air Magic. Expert Wisdom, Logistics, Pathfinding. That's if we do go for Pathfinding. I don't have to have it. Theoretically leaves two slots minimum. And Advanced Offense, that's very good for my character. Hey, the Axes, thank you there for the uh, sub, resub. But the Cyclopses are supposed to be one of the best units, actually. And I do tend to agree with that, because they've got tons of health, which is very unlike most of the other um, range units of the other races. So that's always a big Closing plus. Parenthesis. Closing parenthesis. So you can go into fights and uh, basically um, come out of them most of the time without losing a single unit, if you do it correctly. Which is a big plus, whereas when you're going with mass range units, like I've experienced with the Enchantress or, you know, Jello's um, Rangers and stuff like that, they only have like 30 to 40 health and stuff like that. So it's very hard to stop them from dying to have those efficient fights where you don't lose a single thing. This is quite a lot to fight versus. I assume he doesn't have spells, so I've got nothing going on there. So it just comes down to how much damage they do, because he's got by far the most health, so he can tank, and these guys just stay back. Wow, that goblin's got some movement. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. No! That's something I've got to get better at doing. I 
just keep these out of the way so I can't do that. I wanted him to attack because I waited with him and then it made him... He was the next guy to move. So you don't always know exactly what to see. Wait and then it will be pause. I acted too quickly. Okay, so lots of orcs there. Raiders here. We'll go here. Remember, we can go up to level 12 with this character, so of course we're going to try to pick up all the buffs as well, as I have done in the past. I did say I was going to go not quite so crazy, but it, I don't mind. Also, that I don't like. Keep your morale. Oh my goodness. Oh well, I guess my uh, goblins and that are going to be pretty expendable this game. I think I'll just... I won't mind losing these, as long as I don't lose my Cyclopses. I need a town, yeah. Let's see if this one is actually worth it or not. I haven't actually split my stacks, I just realised that. If I lose the Cyclops, I just won't bother doing this one. I'm going to lose the Cyclops. So what we do, come out, say yeah, we lose, and we go back. Although this would probably be before the fights. <laughs> so here we go. I could just do it before the battle, but I think I can do this better. If not, I'll just go straight to the town, so I don't even lose the goblins and such. The save scumming has begun. Yeah, he gets the same buffs. The game remembers. So... Give this a save. Maybe we try and take the wolf on again. Didn't go great for me though. So I'm not sure if it's totally worth it. Better position up here. More expendable troops there. There's your... Hmm. Hello, big buffalo burgers. How are you? Yeah, these units are totally expendable, aren't they? Completely expendable. I'll tell you what I'd rather do. It's not even just... Not even have them. They're just wasting my time. Come out of this. Yes, I do want to retreat. Yes, I want to accept. Yes, I want to go back. I will just... Follow the path and go straight to a base. Now, we can get Cyclopses with a fort. Wow, that didn't take much then, did it? Get that next turn. I don't think we've got a tavern here, do we? I don't recognise the buildings too well. No. So I can't... It is just my guy, so I don't think I'm going to be able to buy another hero and have him go around the map exploring. Yeah, this was definitely a better decision, wasn't it? Okay, so we'll go get resources. I'm just going to accept these. I think that's okay. We do know that we do want air magic if we're going to go for Dimension Door. I can't imagine this guy managing to get it so easily because Barbarians can't get level 5. Spell... 
So I am wondering about that. Unless there's a part in this campaign where I can control another base, I don't think trying to get the, all the magics is that worth it. Even though they are regarded as the best. If you're thinking specifically from a barbarian point of view, should I just try to get everything that's actually not magic? I could try that. I'd probably regret it though if I don't have... I think they can only go up to level 3 magic. Where else am I going to learn it from? Dimension door. The gate. That's what I'm worried about if I go down that road. I think what we can do is go thematically and concentrate on everything that makes a barbarian a barbarian. Bar barbarian and that isn't magic. Wow. So don't spend ore. And you're definitely going to want crystals. Wow. That's a lot of woofs you got there. Doesn't look like I come out of this one well. That's a bit better though. That's a lot better. I think ballistics is pretty good for barbarians. Certainly not first aid. I do feel like I'm going to regret not getting magic, but it's only because I don't think I'm going to have many levels where I can play with it. And plus the campaign does tend to sort of, if my from my previous experience, does tend to remove anything that does give you a dimension door. If you're playing like a normal level, yeah, you can get dimension door, but... I like it's plus one wooden ore a day. Well, theoretically that will pay off for itself in five days' time. But I won't be able to get a Cyclops' cave. Unless I don't get this. So I think I don't get this. And I get my Cyclopses and I'll just keep building up on those. Because I want the Cyclopses, baby. Let's see what we get from the Witch's Hut. Ha. Huh. See, again, it's kind of tempting, isn't it? It, fe it feels like a bit of a waste to not get spells at all. Yeah, Earth could still work. I can still go Wisdom, Expert Wisdom and Earth. Because then I can get the Town Portal, potentially. But if I don't get it, at the very least, I can still use Expert Slow. Yeah, I think you've got to get some spells. So we'll go with Earth and Wisdom. It's just the air I'm not too sure about. That's next turn. That's Lumber, that's okay. That music's so good. We can come back to base, because we're going to get... Our Cyclopses, and then we're going to be able to buy some more at the end of the turn. Uh, 
Advanced scouts report that they found three ways past the mountains. One guarded by cyclops, one by rocks, and the other guarded by ogres. They did not check the island sea, but rumors of a whirlpool abound. Get ready to lose some units. Ballista yard. Where's my blacksmith at? Ah, so that's... How many shots do they get? 16 is quite a lot, to be fair. Let's see where we stand with that. What's the upgrade? It's quite cheap, really, the upgrade. I think I can get ballistas as well. Let's splurge them. There we go. I'm liking that. I wonder if nine Cyclopses is too many, and I should split them in half. Okay, let's go back up and clear up here, because this is a one-way street anyway. Ha. Huh. Better result. Uh, I only cost some gold, so that's okay. I'll accept it. There's our items, looking good. Resource silo perhaps now, so it can start paying off for itself over time. Oh! Well, there you go. It's been a while since anyone's joined me, so that's nice. Maybe get the upgrade to Orcs. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I've seen anything like that. It's always just been plus one health. A necklace. It's good for the little ones. Okay. Upgrade Cyclops game. And I can just about afford it. So they don't get an increase in health. What do they get an increase in? Movement speed? Probably some defense and skill and more shots. I'm not sure if their damage or their health went up though. So their upgrade doesn't seem too amazing, but an upgrade is still an upgrade. Tactics. I think we'll get tactics. People always scream at me to get tactics. Although it is a little bit cumbersome having to uh, sort that out at the start every time. Fish's roar of roars, razor claw tears through the countryside like flesh being torn from bone. Citadel would increase the amount of units that spawn. I think so. Maybe that's Castle that does that. Oh, well. I still need to buy a spell book. I won't be able to afford many units. Let's get some Wyvern. I see. Let's see if we can uh, split the stacks again. Nah, it doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't have any goblins to throw away anymore. I only had the one. Oh, are we dropping frames? No, don't be dropping frames again. Come on now, Sam. No need for that. Damn, this guy's got a lot of attack already. Oh, 
I'll keep an eye on those drop frames. They shouldn't be doing that though. If I could have one stream where something doesn't go wrong, that would be freaking amazing. I think it's holding up okay, but it shouldn't be doing that at all, at all, really. Unless it's just my internet connection really just can't handle it. Hey, we'll take that. There's my wyverns, boys. We'll retreat back to base. Hey there, Kekka. What's up? Okay. We know we like our Cyclopses. We want the Mage Guild, though. The Spellbook. You could get the upgrade for that. It's quite expensive, though. Kind of. I think we concentrate on this for now. We need expendable goblins. I actually didn't want that many, but... I held down control whilst I clicked on it, so I guess that hires as many as it can. Forgot that skeleton, actually. I can use that. We'll leave that stuff for now. Scare them off. Kill some more of my goblins. Yay, spell power. Yay, knowledge. Oh well, at least that wisdom will do something. Even that mana whale will do something. Ah, okay. I think that's still going to be a dead end. So I'm going to go this way. Or am I going to be wrong? Actually, it doesn't matter if I'm wrong, because it's day seven, so may as well get these goblins, or what I can. Ah, bit of a shame, I got there like a day late. You see, his movement speed just isn't the best right now, is it? Got to get that logistics... This is a nice exploratory map, though. I prefer this than Dracon's Snow. Even though the, the whole dragon thing was kind of cool. We'll buy this so you can get the cliff nest as well. Let's see what you want. Oh, sorry, I already did that, didn't I? Yeah, we don't want scholar. I can buy woofs, but I don't want them, really. There we go. That's fine. We'll upgrade a few things. Oh! Okay. A little bit of the uh, save scum, but don't mind me. That is RNG, anyway. So. 
There's another base. I think we'll take that before we go into the waters. Just clear this up first. Level 12 should be mine, no problem. Can't get Cyclopses, can it? No. Try for slow. Yeah, there's slow. Oh, we can get the upgrades here to our ogres. More chieftains. I guess we can upgrade the goblins. Hey, thank you there, Kai, for the sub. Choo choo. I'm going to head off left. No, I think that's a trick. That's for later. Just keep scouting around for now. And then I can always backtrack. Not being able to get another hero though. That does slow me down. Yes, I do accept. Hang on a second. I'll have to get rid of some goblins in a moment. The spare stack. Basic luck is possible. I think I'll avoid it for the time being. Jeez. So we got logistics... It's a must, and then potentially pathfinding, and then that's kind of it already. Builds up quick. I wish you had more f control over what abilities you got. Especially, yeah, because I'm going to be playing the same character for like multiple times. I don't want another Dracon. Good job protecting that school. Uh, I've always gone with attack in the past. I think we'll try to get his attack and his defense as close as possible. Oh, we got some movement speed. Soon. I'm just going to buy this. Okay. Have some of that them there movement speed, boys. Oh, another base. I'll take it. Vicious roar of razor claw again. Could have bought some units, I suppose, couldn't I? I'm just moving so fast. Doesn't look like there's too much on this level. That's too challenging. Uh... you got to start giving me my logistics soon, otherwise I'm going to restart the level, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going forward if I don't get logistics. 
He's a barbarian, for Christ's sake. They should have more chance of getting it than any other race. Hey! Borlius! Thank you very much for the sub. Okay, we're done on that. Oh, those are the rocks. The rock says. No more experience to be had. Air magic's still potential, though, isn't it? But like I said, I don't think I'm going to be getting Dimension Door on any of that. Right, so it's up to next level to teach me, um... You know what. It's fine. We just exploring. Car. Let's pick up the goodies. Yes, please. I'll grab some more units. Just means I can uh, stay out in the field for longer. I'll grab whatever those are. are those orc towers, or are they ogres? Orcs. Get rid of the wyvern, or we can keep those together. Don't think I really need any more gold. I don't even know why I'm doing this, actually. There's no more experience either. Okay, that's everything fully upgraded base-wise. We're up to third month already. How has that happened? Is it me, or has that gone really quick? That's because he hasn't got his logistics, have you? There's another movement speed thing there. Ah, you bastard. That wasn't the right way. Although we can go out to four months, I think. Oh, hello. How's it going? Welcome to the club. I lost a lot there. What the hell? What just happened there? Sounds. Jesus. What does he cut? Ah, oh, just moving forward. Why fight it? Because he's got movement speed and I'm running out of time. I guess I... I mean, I might not have a choice where I, I just can't beat it anyway. But I can buy tons of troops. I'll have to go back and it's too much time to go back. So maybe I won't be able to do this. He'll just stand there and waste some time. I don't think I can beat this. Nah, you can't. I just think we'll just cut this short.
The only other hope is if I just go back to this base and buy whatever I can there and go straight for it. And this base as well. Because there was nothing... Um, There was nothing uh, permanent buff-wise that I needed. Like, I'm, I'm interested in the permanent buffs for sure. This is definitely quite the backtrack, but... Right, let's see how we go from there. As long as we get the permanent buff stuff. I think that's our way in. I'm going to get the movement speed if I can. What can go wrong? I did win it, but it lost quite a lot. sure if that's worth it, but Jesus. As long as I can get some units in between them, I can slow them down for the next turn. Oh, don't forget to cast spells.
so many expendable units. Still got the main forces though. It's the Cyclops and the Orcs. There we go. Sweet, sweet movement speed. Okay. So there's a buff here. I think this was the only buff on this side. Can't say I need any of that stuff. We're just getting the important bits. What's that? Why? Well, I can't get any more experience, that's why not. Okay, that's all right. So the whirlpool takes you to that and to that and then the one-way entrance. Ambush! Good ambush. There's a thingy here as well. These normally do quite well. Yeah, they kill quite a lot of units. Huh. I'll take the dragon shield if no one wants it. So that's going to go to kill more, isn't it? Almost definitely. Save, save it from here. The stench of Razor Claw, worse than your average behemoth stench, wafts up the depths. You also hear the other behemoths below. Perhaps his family, which is rather large from rumors, has decided to join him in his cave. It does not matter. They will all fall to your sword unconsciously as shiver runs down your spine as you move towards the entrance. Well, we'll leave that to last then, since that is apparently where he is, and that will end the level. I'm not worried about clearing the whole level. Only getting the uh, bits that give me experience. Not experience. Uh, the items that I wanted. And I've already got those now. I mean buffs. Like this. Oh yeah, I'm not replacing my boots. No chance. We'll clear this shortcut. And then we'll go to the portal maybe. It's a one-way entrance. Oh, ambush. No, Charles. Yeah, sure. I'll take him. Ah. Alright. So we need to go in the whirlpool next. And then there's this whole area over here that I sort of skipped by. Oh, no. I kind of did this, though, didn't I? In the previous run. I don't remember getting the base, though. We'll do the whirlpool next. Seeing as we're really close to it.
I've only got two weeks left to complete the level, though. So the whirlpool would theoretically only take you over to this, which isn't impressive. Let's save it here then, and try the boat thing, but I don't think the boat thing is going to be worth it, so I'll just load back if it isn't. But I'm pretty sure the boat thing isn't going to be worth it. Hey, he had enough movement speed to get in there. Just double check, there's nothing cool here. That's good. Anything important? Not really. Oh, okay, that took me over to here, which is where I was going to kind of check out. <laughs> Not much here, eh? So I think that's it for buffs. I don't think you're going to get any other buffs. I can't remember 100% sure what was around here. I'm kind of having a look now, aren't I? We've got one week, pretty much, to get up there, so save it. Just double check if there's any buffs. Because that's all I really care about. nothing there. That was just ogre thingies. So yeah, that's it for buffs, I think, on this map. So it's pretty much just try to come around here quick enough. Let's see if you can do it. Why are they taking it out on me? Why aren't they taking it out on the ogre? Or the behemoth? He's the one that killed him. Razor Claw and his family attack. But get wrecked. Oh yeah, I can shoot clean and clear. Although, by waiting a turn, I might be able to get a buff. Yeah. Spread those buffs, boys. Mm. Orcs. Attack. Congratulations, you have completed your quest to kill the fearsome beast. You can claim victory. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Back in a quick second, guys.